Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb, and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you today? I hope you are feeling good, because today I will talk about attitude. Today, our quote of the day is, the saddest summary of a life contains three descriptions, could have, might have, and should have, by Louis Boone. How many times have you said these words to yourself? This way of thinking is one that will bring you down. To always have these words, could have, might have, and should have in your mouth about your actions is something you need to change in order to be happy and to have happy situations and people around you. Firstly, because your way of thinking, or rather your attitude, shows through much more than the words that you say. Your attitude affects not only you and disturbs your path to happiness and fulfillment, but it also affects the people around you. People choose to stay in your company or to not stay in your company mostly because of your attitude. If your attitude is like theirs, then they will stay. And if your attitude is different to theirs, then they would tend not to stay. Now, if your attitude is negative, you will attract negative thinking people into your life. And people who stay with you are either negative thinkers or will slowly start becoming more negative as well. You really want to make sure that your way of thinking is upbeat, overall optimistic and positive. You can never hide your attitude. And the reason for this is that it shows through your body language and through your expression, your facial expressions and your even the slightest movements that you make. People can pick up on your attitude, whether you like it or not. And people will know your state of mind because we, as humans, have lived for millions of years without having the ability to talk and to communicate with words as we have, as we are doing today but there was still communication. We can really understand each other and know what the other person is trying to convey just by their movements, expressions, and the tone of their voice. I will give you an example from my life. My two eldest daughters, they cannot speak. They cannot speak any words, but they convey their needs to me very, very clearly through their moans and their body gestures and facial movements. And they can hold a sort of conversation with me because with time, they have learned a form of communication that I, I can understand very clearly. I also noticed this with my ex-husband's mother. Having, after having a stroke and not having the ability to speak, we still got into real conversations only through slight hand and facial movements and a few grunts. So with all, we all use the ability that we have without knowing or noticing that we have it. We use this ability to recognize what the other per person is thinking. Even with babies, there is a baby book, I remember, that tells you what your baby is asking you from the different patterns of their crying. Your baby is communicating uh, to you without language, and you can always understand what, whether your baby is hungry, thirsty, tired, or just calling for attention just by the pitch of their cry. In fact, we place much more emphasis on what we think the other person is saying through their attitude represented in facial expressions and movements and the tone of their voice than what the person is really saying. I remember there was once an experiment where a famous person decided to answer the question of how are you doing today by behaving and acting as if all was great and, they, and he was smiling, but with using words that, that he said something completely different. He said, I am fine, I just killed my wife, and all is going well. He, he did this to see if any person would notice, and what do you think happened? Nobody noticed. Nobody paid attention to what he was saying. It was only to his body language and his facial expression that were positive and he was smiling that they reacted, and they reacted as if all was well with him. In fact, there is a whole science behind facial expressions and eye accessing cues, as they are called, and what the, each every cue means, each direction that you move your eyes, it, it all has a meaning. Now, this story just goes to show that we cannot really hide our attitude, and a good attitude is the precursor to reaching peak effectiveness and good results in your life.
Having a good attitude will help you in your relationships, in your marriage, in your job, in your studies, and also, of course, with your health. Having an energetic way of thinking will make you a magnet to people, to good people who will always want to hear what you have to say and want to spend time with you. And having an attitude towards another person that shows them that you care, that they are important, and that you want to be of service to them will ensure that your pockets will always remain full and you will have plenty of good people around you to support you. You will be happy and prosperous all thanks to a healthy way of thinking and a healthy attitude. And so, in order to change your self-talk from shouldn't, can't, won't, and impossible to the more positive aspects like I can, I will, it is possible, and I should, you must change your internal dialogue that you are having inside your mind to a more positive one. Changing your internal conversation will change the way you think and change your attitude. This is something that you definitely want to do because your attitude is working like a magnet, bringing into your life whatever aligns with who you are and how you think. So, how do you change your internal conversation that you are having inside your head? You ask yourself different questions. Instead of saying, I can't do that. Instead, ask yourself, what can I do? Instead of saying, I shouldn't do that. Instead, ask yourself what you should do. Instead of saying, I mustn't do that, ask yourself what you must do. Or you can go even further and instead of saying, I can't do it, ask yourself, what if I can do it? And instead of saying, I shouldn't do it, ask yourself, what if I should do it? And instead of saying, I mustn't do it, instead ask yourself, what must you do? <laughs> These two examples of different sets of questions bring about different sets of answers and also different sets of actions that follow these questions. Of course, you want to ensure that your actions that you are following do not cause harm to someone. But overall, you will have a transformation in your actions and this will transform your life. From my personal life, I remember having a conversation with one of my teachers about the custody of my two mentally disabled daughters. I never believed that I was strong enough and mentally and physically to, and, and also financially, to take full custody over them. So the only option for me was joint custody, which was fine to begin with, but became a real problem when my ex-husband refused to give our daughters their anti-epileptic medications when they were at his house. He doesn't believe in medications, and he was sure that the medications were of no help to them. So he didn't want to give it to them because of all the side effects, of course, these medications have. So our daughters were having these grand mal seizures almost every single day, and this was is extremely difficult for all of us. So my teacher then asked me a question that changed my whole life around. He asked, what if you can take them full time? And what if you must take them full time? Now, before that moment, I have never thought of the option of this ha uh, of having such a possibility. I, I was always considering, considering it just too difficult. And just by asking myself a different question, my whole life was transformed. In the end of this custody story, I mentioned in a previous video that my ex-husband one day offered me full custody, and I took it because I knew that I was capable. It, was, it is when we change our internal dialogue to a more positive, supportive dialogue that we can totally transform our way of thinking and as a result, transform our life. So as I always do with these videos, I provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move you towards a better life for you. So the question of the day is, what can I do that I'm not doing now because of fear? What should I do and what must I do that I'm not doing now because of fear. Now just put your answer down and go for it. I recommend writing these questions in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over your answers and see how you can improve your life and that your life is indeed improving. So the affirmation of the day is my positive attitude supports my dreams and I am moving towards the life of my dreams every day. 
My positive attitude supports my dreams and I'm moving towards the life of my dreams every day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to transform your life. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this content. I upload these kinds of videos five times a week and another video about health and wellness uh, also once a week. So thank you very much for joining. Please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health towards a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.